Welcome to Chapter 2. In this chapter, we discuss programming the MSP430 in C using Code Composer Studio. We begin by taking a quick look at TI's support ecosystem. Starting in the upper right-hand corner, we see that TI provides a rich set of development tools. In this course, we'll spend much of our time working with Code Composer Studio and the Launchpad target board. But there are a great many more tools, such as the various optimizers and advisors. To name just a few, the optimizing C compiler, the Grace driver library, GUI, and the ULP advisor, that is, ultra low power advisor. In the upper left hand corner, we have runtime software. This bubble includes code that you can use to build your own programs. Best of all, these libraries ship with their source code and free of charge for TI CPUs. We'll examine more about these on the next slide. Lastly, the lower item highlights the rich community of support for TI's products through the forums, EDE pages, wikis, in-person and online training. In fact, that's probably where you found this training. TI provides a layered approach to software. We've taken this approach for two reasons. One, we realize different people approach their work in different ways. Some like to work at a very abstract level, while others don't. And two, you may want to mix and match which layer you're using. For example, even if you prefer working at the most abstract, you know, that is easy to use layer, at times you might need to use a lower layer to access some uncommon feature or something specific about the hardware. In any case, each layer is built up upon the lower ones, and they can all work together at the same time. Let's quickly review the layers. Starting at the bottom, we see the MSP430 microcontroller that we discussed in Chapter 1. The next layer up, that's the one we called the low-level C header files, includes a set of header and linker files. These files provide symbolic definitions for all of your devices, registers, and their bit fields. In fact, TI creates a unique set of header and linker files for each specific MSP430 device. Using these, you shouldn't ever have to memorize a bit field definition again. Even better, they provide a common register level vocabulary that is common amongst MSP430 programmers everywhere. We will look at the details of these files later in the chapter. The next layer is called TI Wares, as this layer is available for many different TI processors. In our case, the actual product is called MSP430 Ware. The driver library, or driver lib, we sometimes call it, is one of the main components of MSP430 Ware. We'll be examining and playing with driver library throughout this course. We'll jump into this starting in the next chapter. Finally, at the top of the slide we see Energia. Energia is the name for the Arduino port that runs on TI processors. It's the most abstract library and is the easiest to use. Actually, if you're familiar with working with Arduino, you probably already know that it's really just a C library that runs with C and C++ framework. In any case, we'll explore all the fun of Energia in Arduino in a later chapter. Next, let's briefly review some of the development tools that are available for the MSP430. The MSP430 is supported by a vast set of development tools. Here we examine four options. First, the MSP430 is well supported by IAR systems. IAR is the benchmark in the industry. In fact, their compiler is the most efficient option available today. Even though it's a more expensive option than the others, it's a very popular one. If you want to try them out, IAR provides a free option that is time or code size limited. TI's Code Composer Studio, or CCS for short, is another full feature development suite. Like IAR, TI provides a full function evaluation of their tool set. Starting with CCS version 6, though, TI now includes the new GNU GCC compiler. When selecting this compiler option, rather than the TI compiler, you can use CCS for free and without code size limitations. Even if you choose to purchase the full version so that you can gain access to TI's optimizing C compiler with an unlimited code size, you still don't have to spend much money for the product. We'll explore CCS in much more detail in the rest of this chapter and in the upcoming lab exercises. Energia, the Arduino port for the MSP430, provides another free tool set for you to choose from. It's a community-based project utilizing the GCC compiler. The Energia IDE provides the same look and feel as you would find with Arduino. The big limitation of our Energia's and Arduino's IDE is that they don't provide the ability to single step through your code or set breakpoints. 
But starting with CCS version 6, we now solve that problem by letting you import and debug Energia set sketches. That's a big plus if you want to take Energia, that is Arduino, to the next level. Finally, we show the open source column. You can use the GNU tools as well as MSP430 debug from the command line or call them from GMake. Next, we quickly review some of the web-based community and support options. I'm a big fan of TI's Processors Wiki. Just go to processors.wiki.ti.com for a wealth of information on all of TI's processors and microcontrollers. In fact, we've highlighted two of the items on the screen capture of the Wiki site. First, being you're in the MSP430 class, you might find the MSP430 section of the Wiki interesting. Also, if you scroll towards the bottom of the Wiki page, you'll find the training homepage. Clicking that link takes you to 